going to tie a Mayhem Midge first. Um, this is a great pattern. We fish it a ton up here. And hopefully my contrast is good enough. But you can see this is a size 18 Dairiki hook. Really doesn't matter what you're, <clears throat> what you're using. We fish these in anywhere from a 16 to a 22. Um, they fish all over the place. They, they fish really well. And the beauty of them is that they're super, super simple. So all we're looking for is just a straight shanked hook. Um, this one just happens to be one time long, one time strong. So we're going to start with some black thread. You can tie these in olive, brown, tan, red, basically whatever you want. Uh, we fish the black a lot up here. So we're just going to start about halfway back, wrap our way back, um, and then clip that tag end. You can pull it. I just, I'm not feeling the pull today. So. Um, and then once you get to that back end, what we're going to do, and we want to keep a pretty slender profile on this fly. So what we're going to do is you can use Antron. This is, this is uh, just poly yarn. So you can just use the poly yarn. The poly yarn works fine. I just take a couple of strands. Um, and then what I will do is I will actually wet it just a little bit. So I'll lick my fingers and try and get it to stick together just a just a skosh. Um, and then you, the big ticket here, you don't want your ends even. And I know it's hard to see, but you, you want them somewhat similar. So if you've got stragglers that are way out there, then you can trim them a little bit, but you don't want them the same length, okay? And then you're just going to pinch this down and do a couple loose wraps to tie it in. Make sure that it sits on the top of the fly and then we're just going to tie that in real quick and we can adjust our length now so I can just pull this until I get about the length tail that I want <clears throat> which is right about there um, I can always shorten it in the end but for this one there's no really no need to so then I'm going to take some extra small silver wire um, and I'm just going to tie that in off the side. So I'm going to take a little extra wire here. I'm going to tie that in just to make it a little easier to tie. Do two wraps. And then I'm going to pull that back. And at this point you can actually trim that antron. Um, you can do it one of two ways. So once we get up to the front, you can lay it back so that they have some legs on them, <clears throat> or you can just trim it completely. I'm going to make some legs off of this thing, so I'll trim it there just to get it out of the way from tying. And then we're just going to wrap forward, nice smooth body. This is actually going to be the, the body of your fly, so you want to have nice smooth wraps. Make sure that's even throughout. Um, and we're going to get a little over halfway to the front. For a stop. Now we're going to palmer our wire forward just creating a little dubbing or sorry a little ribbing. Um, try and get that nice even spacing and then once we get here I usually just do two wraps just to make sure that it stays put and I'm going to do a couple passes over and then usually I can just break it off with that helicopter. Okay, so now I've got my Antron, I've got my wire on here, and um, I'm ready to put some foam on. So this is razor foam. You do have to order this from most places. Uh, it's really, really thin stuff. It's what I like to use for this pattern, and I just cut them into thin strips. You don't have to worry too much about how thin you cut it because they stretch. So you can tie it in and then actually stretch it to make it the thinness that you want. But what we're going to do is we're just going to take a strip of this razor foam and we're going to lay it on top and tie it in. And this foam is really important for this fly because it actually causes this fly to suspend. And we want to tie this fly nice and tight and keep that razor foam right on the, right on the top. Okay, now we're going to take two or three pieces of peacock curl um, 
and I'm just going to lay them together. Nice loose wraps once again. You can get them tied in and then you can trim any excess. Um, I go a little overboard with how much I tie stuff in. You really don't need to tie that much in. Like not that many wraps. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to whip finish so that I can use my rotary. And swing my carriage over. And then I'm just going to grab these and we're going to get a couple of nice smooth wraps with them. So that we create that thorax. And this is, oh, we just broke a, uh, we just broke a peacock curl. And that's okay, we'll actually, we'll be okay with that. So we're just going to continue to wrap until we get to that point that I have it where I want it. <clears throat> the curse of peacock curl. And I'm going to hold it steady here. And we're just going to tie this in right here. And then you, you, I'm usually tempted to break it off. The problem with breaking it off is oftentimes it breaks off lower than you want it. And then with this extra little piece, I can just come in and trim it. Okay. So then I'm going to take this little remaining Antron piece. And I'm going to split up the fibers and I'm just going to spread them out so that they angle back and hang off the sides. Now there's a couple different ways you do it. If you if you buy these in store they actually use um, different feathers to do this. I find the feathers just to be kind of a nuisance and a pain in the butt so there's no real reason for me to do them that way. But I'm just going to tie just a little bit just to get the legs flailed out on both sides. And then I'm just going to take my razor foam. And I'm going to pull it nice and tight over the top. Two wraps, snug it down. So that it's nice and tight. And then I hold it back so that I get a couple good wraps right on the hook. And then I can whip finish. And with this one, I'm going to actually use a whip finisher just to make sure that knot's nice and tight. Um, the, the one difficulty with it is you definitely need to make sure that you get your whip finish all the way on that hook. Otherwise, it's a little bit of a challenge. So, uh, okay. So, now you're ready to trim it off. And then we can pull our Antron up, and we're going to trim that nice and short. And then I'm going to pull this and trim that. And there's your Mayhem Midge. So it's just...